no. It's back. It's starting again. It never stops. It just keeps burning. It won't let me go. I think we got something in common. We know what love is. We know what it is to love a woman. You do anything for her, am I right? And something else we got. We know what it is to lose it. Lose it all. To not be in control. Scalding! Can't even remember what I was in here for. Beating up some guy, whatever. I got screwed by this system. Fuck him. It fucked my life. They're as responsible for my old lady's dying as I am. Nobody wants the whole story. Just lock him up, throw away the key. See you next life. Ah! It burns! I just wanted to keep her safe. Couldn't protect her while I was on the inside. They'd be up. I lay awake at night thinking of what would happen to her. Any guy like me, any guy really loved his old lady would have done the same thing. It's gone. So I couldn't take it anymore. So on that day, she came over for a conjugal and we fucked. I screwed her like I never had before. It was smooth, warm, rough, sweet. Best way of our lives. Stop it! Stop me! And then, she was laying there after. She looked so beautiful with a sheen of sweat on her. And I did it. I cut her. Every last inch of her. All over. I cut it. Why won't it stop? <laughs> I can't fucking take it! <laughs> Thank. You... Dr. Killjoy. One of Abbott's most persistent legends tells of Dr. Killjoy, the quite insane psychiatrist surgeon who ran an asylum on Carnate. Doing research of my own, I found that he did indeed exist, though which stories are true and which are fabrication is anyone's guess. Since the cataclysm, I have three times seen a surgeon formed of pure light, reminiscent of 16 millimeter film projection come to life. Could this be the fine doctor? Horace. Many inmates break once inside Abbott, but none have snapped more extremely than Horace Gage, who, the tale goes, became convinced his wife wasn't safe without his protection and sliced her to ribbons during a conjugal visit. He ended up in the mercy chair, electrocuted by Abbott's then executioner, Hermes Hate. For years, inmates have said he haunts Abbott, and I believe I saw him ten minutes ago. I surely wish I had not.
now it's just you and me. Daddy, you wouldn't hurt us. Dad, I'm over here. You're not so bad, I guess. I just wish you'd always been there, you know? Something broke in you in that group home, T. And I didn't have enough time to fix it. There's beauty in you. I could always see it. Stay strong for me, okay? die in seven days.
A pine fucking piper and I've come for your goddamn children! Harley's obsessed with those rats. He didn't used to like inmates much, neither. I'm going back out there to kill the rest of those motherfucking bastards. No, Harley, no! Stay here! We're gonna stay inside this tower until it's safe outside. It's gonna be safe again, right? It's the motherfucking apocalypse. It's Look, inmate, I'm sorry he's like this. He just needs some time alone. Payload shit now, you bastards!
go back. There's no way through. Escaping isn't as simple as just getting outside, but I don't need to tell you that. You know there is no real escape.
Getting outside, but I don't need to tell you that. You know there is no real escape. in the cell. Kaboom! Y'all feel me? Come correct, punk.
the bluff. On the south side of the island near Fort Malison, there is a bluff which appears to have been forgotten since the 1940s. Along the ocean side of the bluff are three wood posts riddled with bullets to which dead bodies are still attached. This seems to be the site of the little-known 1944 execution of three American soldiers, executed on suspicion of treason. No actual evidence of wrongdoing was ever found. Pigs! <laughs> 